Hey YouTube! Yeah, it's me Max. How is everybody today? So today I'm working on my uh, Honda CRV. It's a 2001. So uh, it's the same as a 1987 to 201. So I'm replacing the uh, the alternator cap uh, while well, this sorry the distribution cap. So I got the new one right here. Okay, so what I do is. Uh, when you remove the screws, be careful because uh, aluminum and the screws are metal, so they tend to rust it and seize inside. So just use any kind of penetrating oil, just shoot a bit first. So okay, so I slacken all the screws, it went nice. So anyway, so to remove it, so I just simply remove it. And what I do is to make sure that all the cables are lined up. See, I see it's like this right here, it's the same. So I know this one here, which is uh, cylinder number four, goes right here in the fourth spot so and so on so I continue to I have all the wires so I'm going to do it quickly right here so you can see anyway so voila I'm done so that way I made sure that all the cables are in the right spot as the previous ones they were before so that way um, no cables will be missed, uh, well, sorry, reversely uh, uh, plugged in, so that way your engine will start right away. And also, a little suggestion, uh, when you replace this, you should replace it at, a, I think it's every 50,000 kilometers or 30,000 miles. So I'll zoom in closely, hopefully you'll see, I'll grab the more light, I'll show you why I'm replacing it. So see, I'm gonna uh, grab, uh, hold on, I'll get it, don't worry. Okay, so I'll grab a, just a little piece of a little tool right here. Just so you can see. <laughs> Good thing I got it. Anyways, so, okay, I got it right here. So you see right here, this is the terminals. You see, I'll hold, look closely. You'll see the junk fall off. Hold on, I'll push it. You saw that? You saw that white piece? Look, it's, she's right here. This is a uh, kind of rust or carbon that builds up and uh, will lead to misfire or your engine uh, idling roughly. So see they're all on the all fours or what you can do is uh, you can just uh, like slightly scrape these off and remove all the junk. But uh, the thing is, is your distributor cap uh, needs replacing. So just uh, look at these and if they're nice and shiny, that means it doesn't need replacing. But if it is, that means, and make sure also that this here, it's spring-loaded. So, and it, it, it is, it stays spring-loaded. So, as the new one, right here, as you can see, they're all nice and shiny. Uh, make sure also, when you do replace the, the distributor cap, it's a good idea to replace, just put this back right in, the rotor itself right here. So, uh, because this right here rusts, builds up on top right here also, and by the by the time uh, of uh, like uh, see here, uh, even the spring is uh, damaged, so I'll have to fix that. But that's okay. Um, see here uh, the, the 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 alternator cap; it holds it with a screw on the bottom. So uh, usually uh, the old ones, the old Hondas, you could just pull them out, but now they can't. So anyways, um, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or you can click right here to subscribe. So, and um, I'll try to, uh, every uh, mechanical thing that I do on my, uh, on my vehicle, I'll, I'll try to make a little video so it can help you out because I've looked on videos uh, on, on CRVs, uh, try to fix them up. I think uh, since mine's a 201, I don't know if it's getting too old or nobody fixes them anymore or sends them to the scrapyard. But uh, mine works fine, so I'm just doing a little maintenance on it. And uh, look at my other videos. I'm uh, replacing um, the, the, the wheel, the front wheel bearings. I'm replacing the uh, CV seals. Uh, I've just cleaned the throttle body. If you look on, on my other videos, uh, I'll show you. Uh, um, I got it uh, ready. I made a video on this. I'm going to replace the, the C right here. She's leaking right here. There's a bit of oil. So I'm going to replace the seal right here. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to take step-by-step -step video and show you how to do a little maintenance on these little, uh, these little engines because they run in 
like uh, they're really good engines and if you uh, keep maintenance on them, they should last you a long time. So I'm signing out. Take care.